Hello everyone, Tommy J here and welcome to Knights of the Frozen Throne. In this video, we're going to be taking on Professor Putricide and we're going to be doing so using this 100% free to play priest deck. So Professor Putricide is an interesting fight. He's a 30 health, 15 armor boss with the ability that all secrets cost zero. Unfortunately, no secrets are basic. You can take advantage of his hero power if you'd like, but I think this deck will actually give you more of an advantage in the other parts of the fight. However, if you have a Secret Keeper or an Eater of Secrets, 100% put it in. It will make it a lot, a lot easier. A lot easier. Also, I think if you go to Wild, there are some other things like the Kizan Mystic. Um... Anyway, so after you break his 15 armor, he will spawn Festigut, which is a 3-5. That ability is deal three damage to everything on the opponent's side of the board at the end of each turn so very very handy now his hero ability when he triggers Festigard and goes into his second phase is um that all weapons cost one so as you can imagine he probably has a few weapons from what i've seen he has an eagle horn bow as well as tentacles so tentacles being the three six weapon you definitely want to hold an ooze to get rid of them after you break his health again, he will summon Rotface, which is a 4-6. Whenever this minion survives damage, summon a random legendary minion. So you definitely want to control that somehow. Maybe with his mind control. Thankfully, you can quite easily control when he is going to phase. So phasing him at the start of your turn using a mind control is very, very possible. And probably the easiest way you're going to get down this fight unless you find some other way to deal with those cards. Anyway, I've found that the fight is more or less just about knowing what's going to happen, which is what I just told you. Professor Putricide is my card draw engine, but all he draws is gas. I really dislike him. Professor How can you dislike that? Anyway, it's about knowing what's coming, knowing what potential secrets he has, and sort of drawing on curb as well. I think the poison. That is good news. I just love your voice. Oh, it's amazing. All right, so Elven Archer. Perfect card to start with because he has a card called Growing Slime, which is at the start of his turn, gain plus one, plus one. Growing Ooze, sorry. Growing Ooze. All I can think of is the word slime. So there's a lot of potential cards that... um. Or potential bad things that he can get by you killing this off. Firstly, a frozen clone, which would give him an elven archer. Not ideal. Or give him two elven archers, even. Could be a counter spell. Yeah, could be a vaporize. So, what I'm going to do is drop my cleric. And I'm going to end turn. So, I can finish that off with my archer. In fact, I'm actually going to heal it. Get that little bit of card draw. Is it a dart trap? It is a dart trap. Hit the face, hit the face. No. Ah, well. And I would imagine the Paladin one's revenge. <coughs> Avenge, I should say. Sorry. <laughs> so he's now got a 5 4. A little bit scary. Let's hope he doesn't, um, he does hit face with Mad Scientist. No. Okay, playing not a terrible control game there, Mr. Putricide. So, the Boogie Monster. Jeez, gonna have to get something to deal with that. Let's play the Razor Fen Hunter. Now, I do have a Holy Nova in hand. I can use that next turn to effectively wipe his board. Sludge Belcher. So I sort of have to use this, which is not the greatest, but taking three of those minions out and knowing he can't play the boogie monster for four more turns is all right. I didn't know I even had one of these. Yeah, why do you have a bow? <laughs> you weird guy. 
Okay, so what I can do is raise a Fen Hunter, Shattered Sun Cleric. Don't mess with us. We must um, just because I'm trying to draw out the last hit on that bow, I can deal with the Growing Ooze next turn. Tentacles. Okay. <laughs> Best reaction. But I definitely want an ooze. Yes. Perfect. Maybe you shouldn't be so happy about that. Okay, so gonna buff that. Going to Shadow Word Pain, his annoying little growing ooze. And end turn. Now, he is one turn off being able to play the Boogie Monster, which, as you can imagine, is going to be a bit of a problem. However, we can kill it in two hits. So, since it is when it attacks and kills a minion, not when it is attacked and kills something, um, yeah, we'll be able to use that to our advantage. But what I'm going to do is play the Boogie Monster I stole from him. Kill that, and no, not the trap I thought it was going to be. Okay. <laughs> Abomination. Alright, there's too much stuff I have that I'm going to lose control of. Lose control of? Have die, is what I mean. So what I might do is heal that up. Hit that. His board is wiped. I'm going to drop a cleric. And I might as well just hit him. So he has just phased. And gained Festergut. There are two ways you can play this. There are two ways you can play this. One way is to wait for a mind control. Okay, so back to what I was saying before you rudely interrupted. There are two ways you can play this. You can control him and mind control his cards, or mind control Festigut and Rotface, or you can simply, um... Yeah, okay, that's not too bad. Or you can simply kill them off, and there's nothing wrong with killing them off. So what I think I'm going to do is heal the boogie monster. Attack his boogie monster. And then I'm going to Holy Nova for a little bit of card draw. I'm also going to play the Melloc Tide Hunter. And may as well hit him twice. So, Boogie Monster is definitely not required. Um, I did give this an earlier attempt. I had a Gurubashi Berserker that had about 18 health, and then I misplayed on a secret. So, look out for that. Based off what he's played so far, I would guess Vaporize and Counterspell. So, let's give it a go. No Vaporize. So, he's definitely got a Counterspell. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, so his final hero power, I don't think I mentioned this, this before, is all cards cost five because science. So the problem is that this could be a duplicate and that's not something we want. However, we're going to have to roll with it. So, no, no duplicate. Let's buff the boogie monster back up, since unfortunately I uh, I may have played right into his hands by playing that when he had a duplicate. Sludge Belcher. Gurubashi Berserker. Okay, so the Berserker we're just going to have to deal with. Not the worst. Not the worst. Or we could mind control it. But I do firmly believe he's got a counter spell. And there we go, the counter spell. So, uh, I think we mind control that actually. Kill off the Berserker. And just start beating him down. So, if you're looking to do this without the Boogie Monster, honestly, it isn't as difficult as you might think. <laughs>
it is really in the end about playing o around these secrets. And as I said, if you um, if you end up or if you do have an Eater of Secrets or a Secret Keeper, 100% you should include them. Vaporize? It's got to be a Vaporize. Yep, there we go. So, just try and play around what he has. If you, um... If you're unsure or are having difficulty remembering what, um, what secrets he does have, I'm going to put a list in the descriptions... Description? Of the ones I've seen. Kill you with your own Belcher. And hopefully that will help you out. Now, I don't think weapons are necessary. Um, as you can see, that draw five cards at the end is quite cool. But yeah, to be honest, I think you can get through this. And it's not that bad of a fight. As I said, it is just playing around, um, playing around what you do know he has. Anyway, guys... Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to favorite, like, and or subscribe. This has been Tommy J with Knights of the Frozen Throne, Professor Putricide. Thanks for watching and have a good one.